Hi everyone, welcome to Cryptalina channel and today we will talk about the blockchain called Inary. In the beginning we will learn about the blockchain itself, look at the token and testnet of the project and also get acquainted with a very interesting development team and learn about companies promising partnerships and upcoming events. So let's get started. Inary is a decentralized data system based on appropriately first level blockchain chain in other words, it's a way to truly decentralize Web3 blockchain projects by eliminating the need for centralized databases and uh, related services while maintaining high security, low fees, high throughput, while guaranteeing their owner full control over data assets. So based in Singapore, Inary has uh, subsidiaries in uh, Dubai, Switzerland, Serbia with flexible cross-functional in-house teams dedicated to growth and success. In August uh, this year, the team launched the first public testnet to raise awareness of the Inary ecosystem, as well as give users the opportunity to test the functionality of the network. And uh, the testnet is the basis for experimentation and testing before the mainnet launch and this provides an opportunity for technical improvement of the ecosystem based on user feedback so the testnet already has over 2000 master nodes it's not worth it that this is already more than the entire ecosystem of Salon has only in this test network. The testnet is an important milestone on Inary's journey towards data decentralization and a preliminary step to the launch of the Inary mainnet. So the main network of Inary will be launched in the first quarter of 2023. So behind the project uh, is a strong fully internal and well-organized team which consists of experienced businessmen and IT professionals, they guarantee that Inary will fulfill its promises 100%. So among them, it's worth noting Simon Murray and Satvi uh, Chahel, who is the head of the project and the main advisor. So Simon Murray is well known for these leadership positions in some of the world's most uh, reputable companies, including chairman of the world's largest commodities company Greencore in Switzerland, executive chairman of the Deutsche Bank Group, managing director of the Huchi San Vimpoa Group, and he has been an advisor and board member of Vodafone, Tommy Hilfiger, Corporation, Hermes, and many other corporations. He currently sits on the advisory board of luxury companies like Richmond SA, SRPLC, Omnicorp Limited, and other companies. So now he brings his vast knowledge and business experience to Inary. In addition, recently Satvi Chehil, former senior vice president of global marketing for Apple, joined Inary's team as a new chief advisor, bringing invaluable experience to the company. So the project has entered into a large number of significant partnership agreements with large companies and recently Inary announced a strategic partnership with NextBlock, a leading software as a service and decentralized accounting technology firm enabling the next generation of the internet with decentralized DNS and the new star Web3 EDDEverse has also officially become a partner of this collaboration. So EDDEverse has also become Inary's official partner. This collaboration will expand the capabilities of Web3 NFT and Metaverse, and moreover, Inary announced a partnership and investment from the Truth Ventures Fund by bringing two companies together on a path to simplify the implementation of decentralized databases. In the first week of September, it had raised a $128 million investment from MetaVest, a venture capital company specializing in Web3-focused blockchain, and Gem Digital Limited had allocated 
50 million dollars for Inery. One of Inery's major partnerships has been the signing of a memorandum of understanding with Behard Electronics Limited, an Indian state-owned multi-tech conglomerate. This is just a small number of the many partners that have entered into an agreement with Inery and Inery's native utility token is INR. Its value is uh, determined by its practical use in the ecosystem and, for example, INR tokens help secure the blockchain through staking. It provides validation, transaction relaying and block validation and completion. So, token holders can stake their INR to become a node in the system and earn by validating transactions and creating blocks. Tokens are vital for interacting with INRI products and services as well as for incentivizing action within ecosystems. Moreover, the ecosystem pays periodic grants in the form of its own token in its grant program. It was recently reported that INRI achieved another key milestone for the company in the listing and INR of Hobby Global and just the other day the company announced that the token will be placed on the BitMart cryptocurrency exchange. It's worth noting that the project has its own ambassador program thanks to which users can become one of the company's ambassadors and this initiative will help INRI show the strengths and capabilities of their huge community and promote the project in the space and take the company one step closer to becoming one of the best blockchains and increasing its adoption. So users in turn have the opportunity to contribute to the growth and development of the project by applying the position of brand ambassador. So Inery has uh, already launched a gaming community where users can play in games and win tokens in exchange for generation XP and the reward ratio of 50 XP is equal to 10 INR and in order to receive a token you must accumulate them. The minimum requirement for obtaining an INR is 50 XP. So now let's move on to the main topic of the video and start by analyzing the current state of the INR coin at the moment. The coin was successfully launched and uh, at the end of September it had its first listing on the Hubie Global Crypto Exchange and during it the price of the ENR shot up several times. After the listing the price was at rest for some time and until the INRI team opened access to the coins to early investors. And this led to a very natural fall and further, in early November, Inery had another listing on the large BitMart exchange. At this point, uh, Inery's price almost doubled, even despite the fact that the general background of the market at the moment was very negative. So it looks like a further decline is unlikely, so it seems to me that now, according to the current values of uh, 13, 14, this is quite a very good price. As for the future prospect of Inery, at the moment the team is actively engaged in the development of the blockchain and data management system, clearly following the roadmap and at the moment the Inery blockchain has already prepared many modules that work at the testnet uh, stage and any user can now create an Inery wallet and run their own light master node and create and uh, interact with contracts. So it's definitely worth checking out as the Inery team rewards the most active testers with INR coins. By the end of the fourth quarter of 2022, the team plans to complete the development of all other modules and already in the first quarter of 2023 they are going to launch the main network of the blockchain. Together with the Inery system, this will be supported by several listings on centralized and decentralized exchange, which in theory should lead to a sharp price jump. And I see great potential in Inery because they are very serious 
about achieving their goals. So that's all for now. My review on Inery is complete. Write your opinion in the comments. What do you think about this blockchain? And uh, I will be interested to read uh, what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Bye.